I'm Detective Deal. We're located at the 107 Precinct, second floor, Detective Squad area. Today's date is February 5th, 2017. Time is approximately 10.33 a.m. And I'm activating the tape this time. Okay, we're present in the 107th Police Precinct. The date is Sunday, February 5th, 2017, and the time is about 10.33 a.m. My name is Peter McCormick. I'm an assistant DA in and for the County of Queens. Present in the room with me at this time are Detective Barry Brown, ADA Michael Curtis, Video Technician Joseph Deal, and Chanel Lewis. Okay, so now I'm about to be reading you your rights. After that, if you agree to speak with me, just, you may, if you wish, make a statement about and answer questions about an incident that occurred on August 2nd, 2016. Even though I've already spoken to someone else, you do not have to talk to us. I'm going to now read you your rights. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Anything you do say may be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to consult with an attorney before speaking to me or to the police and to have an attorney present during any questioning now or in the future. Do you understand? Yes. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you without cost. Do you understand? Yes. If you, do, if you do not have an attorney available, you have the right to remain silent until you have had an opportunity to consult with one. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Now that I advise you of your rights, are you willing to answer questions? Okay. Yes? Okay. All right. All right, Chanel, why don't we start with, uh, I think it was a Tuesday evening on August 2nd, um, 2016. Do you remember that, that date and that evening? Mm-hmm. All right. And where were you at that time? Mm -hmm. I, was at, I was in Spring Creek, uh, Gateway and Spring Creek Mall. Okay, by Gateway and Spring Creek Mall? Uh, Spring right. Creek Park. Park? Yeah. All right. Were you inside the park? Yeah. Okay, and was anyone with you or were you by yourself? By myself. All right. About what time did you get to the park? About five o'clock. All right. And how did you enter the park? From what street? From, you know, where, uh, where um, oh yeah, Bell Parkway. From where, the, from where the Bell Parkway entrance is to yeah. the park? All right. And what kind of park is this? What does it look like inside? Are the trees, grass, benches? Or More like large grass. High grass? Are there any trails in the park? Mm-hmm. Okay. And were you on a trail or were you in the grass? On a trail. Okay. What kind of trail is it? Paved or dirt or what? It's kind of like a dirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. About what time would you say you got to the park that night? That that evening? About five. Okay. What was the, what was the weather like? Was it rainy, cloudy, sunny? <coughs> well, it looked like it rained like in the morning and then got that sunny in the evening. Okay. And um, while you were in the park, well, do you remember what you were wearing that day? It was a hoodie, a sweatpants, and a shoes. Okay. What color was the hoodie? Do you remember? Most likely brown. Mm -hmm. And the sweatpants? I think it's probably black. All right. And the shoes, were they shoes or sneakers? Sneakers. Okay. Do you remember what color they were, what kind? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, while you were in the park, um, did something happen? Yes. What happened while you were in the park? While well, in the park, we were just girl jogging, and then I, then I, you know, one thing led to another because we get some other situation. All right. Well, the girl that was jogging, was she by herself or with anybody else? By herself. Um, what did she look like? What was she wearing? Well, it's a she looked like she was wearing a yellow tank top, maybe. Okay. What kind of pants? I wouldn't really know. Were they long or short? Do you remember? No. You remember if they long pants or short pants? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and was she was she jogging? Was she coming from the same direction that you came from when you entered the park? No, we go opposite directions. Okay. And when you first saw her, where were you? Were you in the grass or were you on the trail? On the trail. All right. And were you moving or you were you standing still? Like I was moving, listening to music. You were you were walking or jogging? Walking. Walking, and you were walking towards her. I was 
walking towards and then got side to side and then one thing led to another. When you first saw her though, were you walking towards her or the same direction as her? When you first saw her? We walked towards each other. Towards each other, okay. And she was jogging, you said? Mm hmm All right. Do you know if she had uh, anything, on, was, anything on her head or in her hands, do you remember, as she was approaching you? She might have had a phone. Okay. And where, would her, where was her phone? Was it in her hand or was it clipped to her clothes, do you remember? It was in her hand. Okay. And uh, you said as, as she got next to you, when she got next to you as, you, as she was running and you were walking, what happened then? And then, you know, because of a past situation, I got angry and then started hitting her and stuff like that. Okay. Um, before you did, where did you hit her? Like in the face and like in the mouth. In the face and the mouth. Mm -hmm. Before you hit her, did you grab her or did you just hit her right away? Well, I kind of grabbed her first. Grabbed her? Then, like, how did you grab her? What part of her body did you did you grab? I started hitting her because of the incident that was going on earlier. Right, uh, but did you did you grab her before you started hitting her or was the first thing you did was to hit her? What was the first thing you did? Grabbed her. Okay. And how did you grab her? Like this. Okay. With both hands? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what part of her body did you grab? Do you remember her shoulders, her waist, her neck? Do you remember? Probably like around here. Okay. Around the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And when you grabbed her, what happened then? And then I started hitting her and stuff like that. All right. Now, um, did you hit it with both hands? Probably, yeah. All right. <coughs> and what part of her body did you hit with your hands? I didn't hit any part of her body. Her face? Just the face. Just the face? All right. About how many times did you hit her in the face? Around five. All right. Was she standing when you started to hit her or was she on the ground? She was on the ground. Okay. So did she, when did she fall to the ground? After you grabbed her? All right. Now, when she fell to the ground, was she lying in the path or was she off the path, the pathway? When, when, she, when she fell to the ground and you were hitting her, was she on the pathway or was she off the pathway? She's kind of on the pathway. All right. About how wide is this path, would you say? Like well, a couple of feet. Okay. So it's not that wide, right? Mm. All right. And um, when you were hitting her in the face, was she face up or face down? She was like face up. Face up. Did she say anything at all? Mm. No. Did she scream? <coughs> no, because her tooth broke. I'm sorry? Her tooth broke? Right. Were you covering her mouth at all? Mm. No? Okay. Um, the tooth that broke, was it like in the front, the top or the bottom? Do you remember? <coughs> no. Okay. <coughs> how long would you say you were hitting her for? About how, how long in time? I mean, the whole thing was like about five minutes. Five minutes, all right. And did you do anything else to her besides hit her? Did you put her hands on any other part of her body? No. Okay, well, around her neck or anything? Yeah, the water's coming out of circulation. I'm oh, sorry? Yeah. You put her hands on her neck? Around her neck? Okay. <coughs> do you remember, was it one hand or both hands? Both. Both? All right. And how long did you have your hands around her neck? Did you squeeze her neck when you had your hands around her neck? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You don't remember for how long, though? Mm. Okay. Because I was mad at an incident. You were mad about an incident. Okay, we're, we're going to get to that in a little bit, all right? I just want to find out like, what happened, all right? Um, and was she still moving when you had your hands around her neck? Oh, well, yeah, and then she jumped into the water. Okay. Well, when you had your hands around the neck, was she on the ground or standing up? She's still on the ground. On the ground. Face up or face down? Face up. All right. And then, how did her face go in the water? I was strangling her in the water, and then I put her face in the ground. Okay. You were strangling so her, you said? The water. And, and, and you she, put her face? No, she fell in the water. Okay. And then my hand was bleeding, so I went to wash off all the blood. Okay. Yeah. Which hand do you remember? Uh, you just showed me your right hand, right? Your right hand? Where was it bleeding? What part of the hand? 
Your knuckle? Mm-hmm. Okay. And when her face went in the water, was she face up or face down? Down. Down? Or face up. A face up? Yes. All right. Was the water covering her face? Mm-hmm. And how long did you hold her under the water? Oh, she didn't hold her under the water. When I came back, she was just... Oh, you didn't hold her under the water? Okay. Was she uh, was she moving when you put her face in the water? She was not moving. Okay. What Do you remember, was she still moving <coughs> when you had your hands around her neck? At all? Mm-hmm. How was she moving? What was she doing? Like she wasn't really moving that much. Okay. Did she um, try to hit you or <coughs> do it, touch your body a little during this time? Okay, what, what, what did she do? Like, try to scratch me. Okay, and um, did she scratch you? Where did she scratch you? Uh, my face. Okay, would that be on the, the, um, the right side of your face? Probably was one of these two, though. Okay, did she leave a mark or a scratch on your face? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so at, at some point before she went into the water, she had stopped moving, is that right? Mm-hmm. She stopped moving before her face went into the water, correct? All right. Mm-hmm. Did, um... I'm oh, sorry. kind of did. kind of did? All right. What, could you tell if she was breathing or not? What is it? Uh, be the last question. Could you tell if she was breathing? No, the other one. Oh, before that? I yeah. said, oh, at some point before she went out, <coughs> she stopped moving, and you said kind of, right? This, this is like after the, after the water? Well, that when when you when she went when you put her in the yeah. water, was she still oh, moving I then? In the water, she fell in the she water. She fell. Was she moving then? After that, she wasn't moving. Okay. Did yeah. she fall in the water when you first threw her to the ground, or when you're on the ground with her head in her? Did she like kind of move towards the water? It was more like a strangulation, and then she went into the water. So it was after you had your hands on her neck that she went in the water. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. And what did you do then? After that. After that, she was just lying there, and then I got her by her ankles, and then picked her up by from from her back and put her in the bushes. Okay. Look, can you just describe to me like how you moved her? Look, what part of of the body were you holding when when you moved her? Like the on the hands. And okay, on up her back. Did you have were your hands holding her arms, or were your hands under her arms, or like holding it? Your hands were holding one hand on each one of her hands. Like how you just rep, and just somebody yeah. You saw you were dragging her by the by the hands or the arms, right? Yeah. And when you dragged her, was was she facing down onto the ground or facing up to the sky? Up to the sky. Facing up. Okay. And where did you drag her to? Mm, it was somewhere off the pathway. Off the pathway. Mm-hmm. What's on the side of the pathway? Bushes, trees, grass. Like some really rough kind of trees. I mean, some really rough um. Oh, weed and leaves. Weed and leaves. Okay. About how high would you say it was? Was it high or like about about eight about eight feet or something like that? Like higher than your head when you're standing. Yeah. All right. How far off the path did you would you th- would you say you dragged her into the grass? Like how how many feet about? About probably about ten. Okay. Um. After you dragged her in the grass, did you go back onto the path? Mm-hmm. Okay. When you got back onto the path, could you see her from where you were, from the path? Mm-hmm. I think you said, um, Chanel, that she had a phone with her, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know what happened to her phone? She must have lost it when all that. Did you ever grab her phone? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I might have touched it. Okay. If you touched it, do you know where? <laughs> did you put it somewhere? Or? No. No? Okay, when, do you remember when you touched it? No, I was still in the school phone. Okay. All right. Did you touch anything else that she might have had with her? I wouldn't know. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when you left her in the grass, what were, were, were her clothes still on? No. What, what was the um, st- status of her clothing? How was, how was her clothing? It was kind of like pulled off. Pulled off? Yeah. Okay, what was pulled off? Like her clothes. Her shirt, her pants? Her pants. What about her shirt? Sure, I think it was still left intact. Still may, maybe. Okay. And when you say her pants were pulled off, were they totally off or were they half on or half off? What were they? Looked like kind of half off. Okay. Um, 
were they down or up? I mean, her pants. Kind of like down. Okay. What about her underwear? Maybe it was down too. Okay. Did you um, touch her in any way in her her uh, her um, her vagina, her anus at all? Mm -mm. Not at all. Mm -mm. Okay. Now you said that you did this because you had some anger. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, can you tell me about that anger? Cause you know I used to live in a different address than I currently live right now. Right. And then there's sometimes there's this man that comes around there. He play like live music and carry a lot of friends around there. I didn't like it because I feel unsafe and comfortable, and I like my place private right. and peaceful. And usually I just. Okay. Uh, what place was this that you used to live in? A different place? What place was it? It was the same neighborhood, but a different street. It was at Logan Street. The neighborhood where you live now? Yeah. Okay, and where do you live now? Where I live now is Essex Street. What's the address? 576 Essex Street. Okay. And is that a big house, a little house? Or? It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a three-story. Okay. What floor do you live on? We live in the basement. Okay. Who's, who's we? Who do you live with? My mom, my sisters. How many sisters? Two. Two? Okay, what are their names? Flopa and Suita. Okay. About, are they older than you or younger than you? Older. Older, okay. How long, and the place you said you lived before that, you said it was Logan Street? Mm -hmm. That's that's near Essex Street, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And there was someone there who, who got you angry? Do you remember who that was? Mm -hmm. Do you remember who that was? Okay. Is your brother? Do you have any brothers? Uh, yeah, I have a brother, but <coughs> he don't live with us no more. Is he older or younger than you? Older. Where does he live now? He lives somewhere in East Flatbush. How old is he? About 27, 28, around the other area. What's his name? Shaman. Shaman? Do you see him a lot? Yeah, he comes around the house once in a while. Does he know this person that you have a, an issue with? Did that particular person, you don't have to tell us who he is, but did he, did he make you angry that day, on August 2nd, that Tuesday? Yeah, because like every, every day he keeps playing the music and inviting his friends and know we just live in a quiet block. Mm -hmm. and we don't like all of these type of stuff. Okay, and about what time was that? Hmm? What time was that that he was playing the music and got you annoyed and got it's you pretty angry? Much, pretty much all day. All right. Well, and what time, <clears throat> when did you leave your house to go to that park that day? I probably left about, about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. In the afternoon, early afternoon? Yeah. And how far is your house to that? It's called Spring Creek Park, right? Is that mm -hmm. what it's called? Yeah. How far is your house from that park? It's probably like a couple of blocks. All right. And how did you get to the park? Usually I just go to the industrial place and then go to um, the mall and then go, go across the bridge. Okay. Did you walk? Did you ride a bike? or? Okay. Was anybody with you? Mm. Did, did did you tell anybody that you were going to the park before you went? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, you entered the park through what what how, what entrance way did you get into the park? What street By is that? By the Parkway. By the Bell Parkway entrance. All right. And how far into the park did you walk when you had you walked when you first saw um, the girl? I walked the one trail and then went to the next trail. Okay. So how far would you say in distance you had? walked when you ran into her? What do you mean? Well, at some point while you were inside the park, you were listening to music, right? Mm -hmm. And were you listening to music through headphones or, or the radio or how we listen to music? Right. Oh, so your phone? Yeah. All right. And at some point while you're walking, listening to music, you see the girl jogging towards you, right? Mm -hmm. So. How far had you been? How far had you walked, like from the from the point you entered until you saw her coming? Along, halfway through, more than halfway through, or it's kind of like one trail and then you go to the next trail. Okay, so you took one trail to the next trail. All right. And um, 
from the time you first grabbed the girl until the time you dragged her into the grass and left her there, about how, lo how long you think that took? You know, when you punched her and strangled her, how long would you say it lasted? About five minutes. Okay. Now, had you ever gone to that park like before this date? Would you go there on, on occasion? Or? Yeah, sometimes when I was when I get angry and stuff like that. How many times would you say you've been there before to the park? Like several times. More than three, four times. Yeah. Okay. Would you always go into the park by that trail? Yeah. All right. And would you always walk, or there would other ways to get there? I always walk. So you, would you walk the same route? Mm, sometimes I do. Sometimes a different route. Okay. Did um did you ever go there with someone else, with friends or anything? No. No. Okay. Did you ever want on while you were in that area? Did you ever once get spoken to by police in the area, like before this happened? I mean, I, I got stopped once by the police. Yeah. How long before this was that? that was probably a couple of months ago. Mm hmm A couple of months before the August 2nd? Yeah. Okay. Now, I know, um, uh, Chanel, I know that, uh, like last night, you, did, you, did, you really didn't want to talk about this, right? Last night. But today, you, it was okay. You wanted to talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. I know that you told um, Detective Brown you wanted to straighten your life out, right? Yes. Okay. And then Detective Brown said to wait until you came in the room to talk about it. That's right? Mm -hmm. And that's what you did, right? Yes. Okay. I know that um, I think Detective Brown showed you this map before when uh, he spoke to you, right? Remember mm -hmm. this map? Okay. Can you show me on the map, like, where, what point, like, what, that you ent actually entered into the park? Just put a little dot there. Okay. Thanks. And is that the same way you went out? Mm-hmm. Okay. And when you went out, were you walking or running? Do you remember? Walking. Walking, okay. And where did you go after you left the park? Pretty much my hand was really hurting me, so I went home. Okay. Was it like bleeding heavily, or was it just like a scratch, or a, do you remember? Like, it was sweating a little bit, so. Sweating and bleeding? And pain a little bit, so, yeah. Hurting? Right. And um, you said you had some scratches on your face, right? All right. Um, where did you go after you left the park? Did you go out somewhere? Did you go home? Or? Went home. Okay. Was anyone home when you got there? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I got my own keys, so I just... Right. Did anyone see you that evening? Mm, yeah, some people, they were asleep. Hmm? They were kind of, yeah, they see me. Okay, did they ask you what happened to your face? Mm. Did they notice they had a scratch on your face, anybody? Not really, but they didn't this like what did you say about that I said I fell okay did you say where mm -hmm. what did you say I said Gateway Mall Park okay Can you just tell us what this girl looked like? Was she a black girl, Chinese girl, Spanish girl, white girl? Do you remember? She looked white. Okay. About how big was she? About five, about five, four, five, three, I guess. Heavy, slim, medium? Kind of medium. Okay. Had you ever seen her before? No. Did you ever go back to that same park, Spring Creek Park, after August 2nd, after this date? Mm -hmm. Never? Okay. You know, after uh, her face is in the water and you pick her up and you drag her into the weeds, does she move at all at that point or make any more noises? Mm -hmm. No? At what point did she stop moving and making any sounds? when she was under the water. Under the water? Mm -hmm. Like as she was under the water or bef right before you put her in? Mm -hmm. As she was under the water. Were you holding her under the water? At that point, no. I was too 
who was he cleaning off the bed from the hand. Okay. Was she still moving while you were strangling her around the neck? She's moving like, quite a little bit, yeah. Is that when she scratched your face? No, it was when I was hitting. When you were hitting her, she scratched your face? Mm -hmm. Okay. When you were hitting her, were you standing over her, or were you like sitting on her chest, or how, how did where how were you positioned when you were hitting her? Like I was on top. But were you standing on top, or were you like were your knees on the ground? Were you like, you know, were you low, or were you standing up on your feet? Like it was kind of like between, like in the middle, between the middle of standing and crouching. Well. Crouching like like a catcher in baseball, or with your knees on the ground? It's more like a one with the baseball. Like a catcher in baseball? Yes, Did you ever hit it with anything or did you hit it with your hands? Just the hands. Okay. Oh, and all the all the punches were to her face, right? Mm-hmm. And you said it was with both your hands? Mm-hmm. You only got the injury to the one hand? Would you say use that hand more? Yeah, it's more like it on that hand, yeah. Are you a righty? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you notice whether her she suffered any injuries as a result of the punches? Just a broken tooth. Yes. That's it? Was do you remember could you see if she was bleeding or not? Or black? No. Not really Small checked. One? You didn't check? Okay. Was she did she say anything to you? Was she able to other than maybe if she screamed, did she was she able to communicate at all? Did say any words, any sentences? Mm -hmm. Did you say anything to her while it's happening? Mm -hmm. And this, you were angry because of what happened in your neighborhood. Yes. Were you angry about what happened in Howard Beach? Did you have any friends or people you knew who lived in the neighborhood by Howard Beach? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, the time is... Talking about, oh, sorry. I was talking about... Uh, what you was talking about um, with him? Rest so what? Call again and what? You said it. I said, did you have any friends in the area? You said no, right? No, whisper to me. Wait, it was something you said. 